Herschel Walker was asked about Trump and his lies about the 2020 election. And Herschel Walker answered in a way that is uh, dumb, even by Republican standards. Take a look. One of the things that has certainly motivated President Trump in giving endorsements to various candidates has been whether or not they accept uh, his claim that the election was stolen. Do you think the election was stolen? Well, I don't think, I think you, I think reporters say that. I don't know whether President Trump said because he never said that to me. I'm not, I'm not arguing with he it. says it over and no, over he again, may, No, 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 no. He has never, I've never heard President Trump ever say that. Excuse me? Are you serious right now? Are you seriously with a straight face going to tell me that Donald Trump who has purported time and time again that the election was rigged and stolen from him never actually said this are you seriously going to contend that this whole narrative is a media fabrication is that what you're really going to say you know i would say okay maybe he's never spoken to donald trump maybe it's been a while donald trump endorsed him in this race and yet he's saying trump never said that wouldn't trump take offense at you saying that he never said that? It's all he talks about. Wouldn't a normal Republican take offense to you saying that Trump never said this? I mean, this is what they're outraged about. It's why they stormed the Capitol. And you're seriously saying that Trump never said this. He's created his own reality that he's living in. And it's something that worries me, not just because this is someone who might be a U.S. senator, but because this is an individual who very clearly needs help. But that's not all. So CNN reporter Manu Raju asked him about his stance on gun control legislation because we had another mass shooting take place. His answer here is genuinely just incomprehensible. Hey, Manu Raju with CNN. I know. I know. Can I ask you, are you, do you support any new gun laws in the wake of this Texas shooting? Do what now? Do you support new gun laws in the wake well, of this Texas like shooting? Well, what I like to do is see it and, uh, and everything and stuff. I like to see it being over a favorite New Jersey Thank you. He said in response to a question about policy, and I quote, what I like to do is see it and everything and stuff. I'd like to see it and everything. Now, you're probably thinking, OK, this must have been a really heated primary. His opponent must have came really close, but maybe the name recognition just put him over the edge. No, he won by a landslide. Look at the results here. With more than 68% of the vote, he absolutely crushed his Republican primary opponent, and he sweeped in every single county. This is who Republicans elected. And across the country, they're electing more and more people like this. Just because, I don't know, he triggers the libs. It's just truly astonishing. And it's horrifying because he has a great chance of winning because of name recognition. Because we all know how much Republicans love celebrities. They hate celebrities until they come out as conservative. And then it's like, oh, we love conservatives. Or we love celebrities rather so much. We want to make them our president and our U.S. senators. Let me remind you that Dr. Oz could also be a U.S. senator. So I, I just... I don't know what to say about this, but even local Republicans were freaking out about him because they're saying, okay, he has name recognition, sure, but he's going to lose the general election because he is, one, mentally unfit to serve, uh, and two, he's just a bad person. So look at an actual ad that his opponent ran against him in the uh, primary. Warning. Viewer discretion is advised. Are you thinking about voting for Herschel Walker, the football legend? Wait, before you answer, let us share some things with you. Did you know Herschel's ex-wife accused him of, quote, physically abusive and extremely threatening behavior? That she desperately sought a protective order after Walker threatened to kill her? Did you know Herschel once held a razor to her throat and his ex-wife said he choked her and, quote, he held the gun to my temple and said he was going to blow my brains out. Or that Herschel's mistress told police that Walker threatened to, quote, blow her head off. Did you know about the cheerleader who accused Herschel of threatening and stalking her, following her to her home? Or that during one domestic violence call, Herschel Walker threatened a, quote, shootout with police. He threatened to kill women. He threatened to kill cops. After the violence, 
the abuse, the stalking, the death threats, Herschel Walker still has not been forthright with the people of Georgia. Not about his violent behavior or the threats he has made against women and police. So we have to wonder how many more women are out there and what stories might they tell? Now ask yourself, are you still thinking about voting for Herschel Walker? Yes. The answer is yes, and overwhelmingly so. So this individual could be a U.S. senator. Republicans just know how to pick them, right? I mean, can't you find someone who has the same set of beliefs or lack thereof, but also doesn't want to kill people? <laughs> Again, it's an organized death cult, and you can't just blame the politicians. You've got to blame the voters here, too. And yes, I said it. I know that a lot of liberals and lefties might cringe at that statement, but there are some some things that you can chalk up to a voter being uninformed, right? This is why money oftentimes determines who wins in a lot of congressional races. But there are some things that are so apparent, so obvious, that you can't just chalk that up to, oh, these poor voters are just being brainwashed and duped. No, these voters, they're making this choice themselves. They chose to elect Donald Trump, who said, grab him by the pussy and I don't even wait. They vote for known insurrectionists time and again, despite hearing all of the horrible things that they say. These Republican voters consistently are electing the most extreme and insane people in the country and this is an ongoing trend and there's a lot of reasons why this is the case yes they're uninformed because if they were informed they wouldn't be voting for a republican but it's also them just choosing yeah i want to elect that bad person because they're going to trigger the libs because they're going to talk about how um you know the far left is extreme and maybe they want to jail them and do more authoritarianism uh they're making the choice on their own volition. It's not just that they're uninformed. So all that I want to leave you with is, if you're in uh, Georgia, for the love of God, support Raphael Warnock. Raphael Warnock is a candidate who actually has a core set of beliefs and principles and wants to help people. I don't have a lot of nice things to say about Democrats, but Raphael Warnock is not one of the Democrats who's not acting. He's someone who actually cares about implementing policy. And if voters in Georgia choose Herschel Walker over Raphael Warnock, you can't just chalk this up to uninformed voters who just, they didn't know any better. No, these are adults. You can choose to make yourself informed and stop voting for objectively bad people, or you can, uh, you know, keep voting these people in and then complain why the country is, uh, you know, circling the drain. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.